Hey everybody, we just got back to the barn and what is the objective for today, dear? Well, I'm hoping uh, if I have the carpentry skills or want well and ambition, we're gonna try and patch these holes in the floor. You just said something when we pulled up uh, when, and looked at this bay. Mm -hmm. It's like- Yeah, it looks nice. It's glorious. Yeah. You know, it's like that, uh, it's like that scene in Days of Thunder when he pulls in the pit road after the race is over. <laughs> Well, how about that? A sound we don't have to fix. And Harry <laughs> walks over and kicks a dent in it and says, I don't want you to be spoiled. I don't want you spoiled, but Yeah. I feel like we shouldn't have this bay. Like It does feel a little yeah. spoiled. Yeah, kind of. yeah. Yeah. My name is Krista, and that is my husband, Kevin. We just embarked on restoring a 150-year-old farmstead in Pennsylvania that was in my husband's family for three generations. We're starting our restoration with a barn that was basically falling down when we started. We still have a long way to go, but as we stumble through this restoration, we are sharing this journey and learning together as we work to restore our future home at Sawmill Ridge Heritage Farm. So we're going to dive in on this biggest hole in the floor here in this bay above the pig pen by cutting away the bad spots and replacing it using recycled materials that we found right here in our barn. Here's a seam. There's a seam. Here's a row of nails. I hope it's a big beam. I'm going for it. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Just as we suspected, this bay is double lined. So there's actually two layers of flooring here. Guess if we're doing it, might as well do it right. Okay, so what Kevin is mentioning here is he's looking at this last floor floorboard. It's just a little damaged. Um, so it's a discussion over, should we replace this one or is it okay? And we're saying, no, if we're gonna do it, we're just gonna do it right. We're gonna go ahead and replace this end board too, even though it probably would be okay. We're ending with the multi-tool to just cut it without having the cut mark go into the next floorboard, which we are keeping. Yeah, I noticed too. This one, this one, <laughs> it stops right there. So, depending on what widths we can find when we get to putting the second layer down, whether or not I'll pull this little piece out. I don't want to just do it now and then find out that, well, we had these boards that fit here and here, and but we just have to wait and see. While we're busy getting all this work done, Adeline is busy living her best life. We hung a hammock for her today, and she is really enjoying Family Day at the Barn today. 
talk about a different perspective. The pig pen sure looks different when you're looking down on it from above. In this bay of the barn, the floorboards were each an inch thick and double layered. So um, we're using recycled materials that I've been able to pull from other parts of the barn. And because of that, it's just extremely hard, dense wood, um, which will make it last a really long time, but it does make it a little bit longer as we're reusing that material, just because of how hard it is to cut through, to um, drive a screw through, those type of things. One of our struggles is that the barn currently does not have electricity, so it does get dark pretty quickly. We were still able to lay down these last few floorboards, although it was pretty dark at the time. Okay, we just finished up here at the barn for yeah. the day. It's getting, I mean, it's not dark outside, but in a barn with no electric and no lights, it's- It gets dark. Yeah, hard to, hard to read a tape measure, but I got the biggest hole in the floor fixed. Um, you Look, know, I'm it, no Bob Vila, but uh, you know, it, it works. It looks really good. Right. And Adeline, what did you do during your bar barn day? You had a little time to rest in your new hammock. That was cool. Did you have fun at the barn? Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and comment. It just makes it so other people can find these videos. And uh, we'll be back next week. See you next time. Goodbye. Okay,